Service Configuration Management. This is another practice that you have to recall the definition for. The purpose of the Service Configuration Management practice is to ensure that accurate and reliable information about the configuration of services and the CIs, known as configuration items, that support them is available when and where it's needed. So when I think about this, first we want to talk about what is a CI. Well, a CI is any component that needs to be managed in order to deliver an IT service. This might be a server, it might be a switch, it might be a desktop, it might be a laptop. All of these could be configuration items. And the way that we track these is as a single configuration item like your desktop computer with Windows 10 and eight gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte hard drive is a single CI in most cases for most organizations. So this is the idea here that we have to think about as we're tracking our service configuration management. Now, as we figure out what our service configuration management is, and we know what all these CIs are and how they're configured, that means anytime we wanna make a change to them through change control, this is gonna feed back into the service configuration management so we can update our database and know exactly what devices and what assets we have all throughout our organization so we can get the most value from them.